Toyota's recent efforts to dominate the auto industry have been quite successful for the business. With their hydrogen cell-powered cars, which are gaining popularity by the day, they have already launched an entire industrial branch. Toyota has begun working on a novel method of utilizing hydrogen in automobiles, namely by creating an internal combustion engine that runs on hydrogen. What drives Toyota to create this engine and how do they work? Join us as we examine Toyota's revolutionary hydrogen engine, which stunned the entire automotive industry. Toyota has played a significant role in the electrification of automobiles and has been the industry innovator of choice. The Toyota Prius is the all-time best-selling hybrid and was the vehicle that truly sparked the electrified vehicle craze, which in turn sped up development and increased consumer interest in completely electric vehicles. However, Toyota had previously made the decision to continue producing hybrid and conventional vehicles for as long as they can. In fact, Toyota only recently made a foray into the EV market with the Toyota Biz 4X, and the company's CEO, Akio Toyota, even expressed doubt that EVs will ever replace hybrids and conventional internal combustion engines. Anyhow, Toyota has been researching fuel cell electric vehicles or hydrogen cell-powered automobiles, as they are more well-known, as a competitor to electric vehicles. The main advantage of FCEV is that hydrogen will be used, which is the element that is most prevalent in the universe. Additionally, it is to say that the batteries used in hydrogen cars are much weaker and contain less lithium than standard EV batteries. That means that the manufacturing process of hydrogen cars is also more environmental friendly than the process to be done for pure electric vehicles. The first generation of the Toyota Mira was established back in 2014. These days, the Mira was not intended to be produced in a large scale. It was an exclusive vehicle for the Japanese market. However, the car was so well received that Toyota planned a second generation in 2020 that was also made available to consumers worldwide. There are also other firms joined to produce hydrogen cars. Honda and Hyundai are just two examples of the manufacturers that have begun producing FCVs. Many other well-known automakers like Volkswagen, BMW, and Mercedes have also declared their intention to build their own hydrogen-powered vehicles. Now Toyota is working on a system that would make better use of hydrogen. Toyota recently changed their beloved 1.6 turbocharged three-cylinder engine, which is found in the Toyota Corolla GR and the Toyota Yaris GR, to use hydrogen instead of conventional fossil fuels. This conversion was made as the company's recent foray into converting internal combustion engines to use hydrogen as their propellant turned out quite fruitful for the company. Additionally, they have begun a cooperative venture with Yamaha to manufacture a 5.0-liter V8 fuel by hydrogen. The question now is how hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines are working in practice. You'd be astonished to learn that the engine operates very conventionally. In fact, it is remarkably comparable to cars that run on compressed natural gas rather than gasoline. The hydrogen is kept in place by a large tank that is considerably thicker than a standard fuel tank. A de facto armored tank is unquestionably required because hydrogen is a highly combustible gas in order to prevent hydrogen from escaping. In order for the engine to sustain a higher overall pressure, it needs to have harder valves and valve seats, stronger connecting rods, fuel injections that are made for gas instead of liquid, as well as a number of other upgrades and general strengthening of the engine's components. The overall use of hydrogen in the cylinder is actually very similar to the use of conventional fossil fuels, but there are no CO2 emissions in comparison to them. The fact that hydrogen engines produce comparable quantities of horsepower to their more conventional counterparts is another benefit. Additionally, the new Yaris GR-H2 can be fully refueled in just 1.5 minutes, which is incredibly fast when compared to EVs. Overall, these cars may genuinely represent the transportation of the future, and if you ask us, we think they will only grow in popularity over the following years. Would you buy a car with a hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine, and if so, whose automaker would you like to see produce them? Please share your thoughts in the comments box below. A significant benefit of these vehicles is that hydrogen can be produced industrial. And let's not forget how much fun these automobiles are to drive. The driving experience is nearly identical to that of a conventional car, down to the fact that IC engines produce noise, one of the main things that patrol fanatics adore about them. Have you heard the G16e engine yet? We think the sound of the hydrogen-powered one generates is superior to that of the patrol-powered one. Think about the sound a 5.0 V8 would produce. We just cannot wait to see the results of Toyota and Yamaha's partnership since their next engine is believed to produce roughly 450 horsepower and will rev as high as 6,800 RPM. It's going to be a true symphony and based on how well they now collaborate, it's also going to be a terrific engine all around. The iconic 2JZ and the magnificent V10 found in the Lexus LFA were both co-developed by Yamaha. 
So it would appear that the hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine may be the answer to all of our prayers, wouldn't it? However, there are a few things that need to be noticed and a few issues with hydrogen as a propellant before we go ahead and write off EVs and conventional vehicles totally. First off, Toyota isn't the first automobile to use a hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine. In fact, these cars have been produced in the past. The most popular models before Toyota were the BMW 750HL, which debuted in 2002, and the Hydrogen 7 in 2005. Both of these vehicles had a host of issues that are still present in internal combustion hydrogen engines. First and foremost, hydrogen poses a serious safety risk because it is very combustible and occasionally even explosive. Additionally, it is very difficult to process and even more difficult to store, and even though there are no CO2 emissions, high combustion temperatures produce enormous volumes of nitrous oxide, another pollutant. The amount of air required for a complete combustion can be increased to reduce this, but doing so results in a car that is much weaker than its petrol-powered counterpart. This implies that in order to generate sufficient horsepower, the engines must be enormous, which would actually result in a thirstier engine. Furthermore, the relatively complex method of manufacturing and storing hydrogen makes it currently more expensive than gasoline and diesel, and the technology also makes these cars significantly less efficient. Finally, because the hydrogen engine needs to be significantly more durable, the production process is at least 1.5 times more expensive than making a conventional IC engine. Until the technology is more developed, a hybrid vehicle is the best way to use hydrogen internal combustion engines because it significantly reduces nitrous oxide emissions while improving fuel efficiency. As much as we'd like to see cars such as Toyota Yaris GR-H2 flood the market as soon as possible, it's not really going to happen anytime soon due to technology restrictions. However, we do believe that the further development of this idea could turn very profitable for Toyota in the long run, and we do believe that the hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines will become a viable choice in the future. Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to like and subscribe Beyond Fuel to stay in touch. See you next time.